Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and uh, these two stories go together like lamb and tuna fish, or perhaps you prefer analogy, a spaghetti and meatball. What movie is that from, everybody? Don't Google it. I can Google it. You don't know. It's Big Daddy. Somebody, I bet somebody out there knew that. It's Big Daddy. I haven't seen that movie in over a decade. Uh, take a look at this. <laughs> this is from Alex Cobb's website, the XRP Daily. It's titled, Rap Artist with 1 Million Followers Shouts Out XRP. And what better story to pair it with in a Moon Lambo video than this one, which also came out today. XRP is called a scam by former UFC fighter Ben Askren. I just figure two people somewhat in the limelight that maybe most people don't know who they are, but still, you know, a fighter, a rapper, whatever. Like lamb and tuna fish. There we go. But anyway, before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button. And if you are a fan of lamb and tuna fish, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. Or don't. It's, it's cool. I understand. Uh, so here, here it is. And uh, props to Alex Cobb. I think he's the first uh, first person to write a story about this period, actually, as far as I know, anyway. I'm sure other crypto media will be following suit tomorrow. But anyway, title, Rap Artist with 1 Million Followers Shouts Out XRP. Now, a rap artist known as Sauce Walka, who has nearly 1 million followers on Instagram, <clears throat> directly plugged XRP in a video he uploaded today. You can watch the full video right here. You know, and um, if you just go, just go to the XRP Daily and click on the article. That's the best way to get to this thing here. And I, I did watch this thing, and he is definitely, uh, without question, the whole video, he is just promoting XRP. And uh, that was uh, a sight to behold. And so here's the actual tweet. Uh, Attention XRP community. The masses are already starting to wake up and hop on board more and more each day. A big rapper with 1 million uh, followers talking about XRP. So this is where this all ultimately stemmed from. It's at XRPBP. And then Alex uh, writes, He actually cites XRP by name talking about how it is a great opportunity in the crypto space, which I believe is helping to get the word out to uh, XRP to the general public. And it's funny how he started talking about this. He goes, I don't care if you're investing 50000 if you're just investing 5000 or 500 or $5. He's essentially saying, you got to get started somewhere, just encouraging people to buy XRP. So uh, how about that? Now into this next one. Oh, this is, uh, this is fun. And I, I got to tell you, I have not heard of this guy, Ben Askren. And so I did uh, the reasonable thing. I Googled him, and then one of the first things that popped up was Wikipedia. And don't bash me for looking the guy up on Wikipedia. If I were on some sort of fact-finding mission to prepare myself for uh, some sort of debate or something, or say I was writing a paper if I were still in college, um, you know, I was writing a paper. Maybe I wouldn't reference Wikipedia, but this is the Moon Lambo channel, damn it. And I'm not going to look any further into this guy talking crap about XRP. But anyway, uh, I did look him up, and uh, his nick he was nicknamed Funky. There's a fun fact for you. Uh, is he's an American retired professional mixed martial artist and former Olympic wrestler. Askren was a former one welterweight champion and former Bellator welterweight champion. He also competed in uh, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And so if he weren't retired, after a tweet like this, um, where he said XRP is a scam, I would have just told him to stick to his day job, but uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't have one anymore. Take a look at this. So here we go. UFC star Ben Askren recently riled up the XRP army by calling the third biggest cryptocurrency a scam on Twitter. And, and so where did this stem from? Uh, there's somebody named, he's uh, at Rob underscore Chow, who tweeted this out. The fact that Ben Askren, and he tagged him there, the fact that Ben Askren is staying quiet on XRP tells me it's going to take it a long time, if ever, to moon. <clears throat> ben Askren retweeted that and wrote, I think XRP is a scam. Right there. And so I went to, there's another article I pulled up. Uh, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Uh... There we go. Okay. Uh, so Bitcoinist.com also picked up this story, and they gave a little bit more context of what's, context of what's going on here. Uh, and so um, Askren has had a long history of supporting cryptocurrencies. Uh, he was often described as Bitcoin bull, and he accurately predicted that Bitcoin will exceed $10,000 back in early 2019. Interestingly enough, last October, he also used Twitter to challenge crypto geniuses and dare them to explain to him why crypto is a scam. 
Now, only a few months after that, he himself started claiming that one of the largest cryptocurrencies is a scam, causing mixed feelings among his followers. Many seem to share his opinion, while others have found his opinion uninformed. And you know what's interesting about this? While he's out there spreading the word that crypto in general is not a scam, uh, while talking about XRP being a scam, it's comical to me because... There is no more legitimate a cryptocurrency and no more legitimate developers building on top of a, a, a cryptocurrency, a, a ledger, a blockchain, uh, than is the case with um, the, the blend of well, Ripple, uh, Coil, other developers, and XRP. You know, there is no more legitimate a coin that's actually being adopted. And that's what's so funny about this. So he, he's certainly uninformed. Uh, it's either because there's only one of two things. Either he's uninformed or he's being deceptive. Uh, both are bad, but it is one or the other. And then this piece writes, as mentioned, Askren has become known as a supporter of several cryptocurrencies, but primarily of Bitcoin and Litecoin. <clears throat> Bitcoin and Litecoin. I'll tell you what, he's on the winning track there. Uh, he represented LTC by wearing Litecoin branded clothes on Instagram, and he often shared the coin's progression during price surges. But while he does seem to be a fan of the Bitcoin family, he seems to remain skeptical of XRP. Still, his tweet regarding XRP is pretty much the only time he had ever commented on a coin that is not Bitcoin or, uh, or Litecoin. So how about that? And then you scroll down a little bit further here in this uh, You Today piece here. And uh, here we go. Yeah, XRP holders fire back. While some Bitcoiners were having a field day, XRP fans didn't hesitate to take personal jabs at Askren. Some of them went as low as comparing the speed of XRP to Askren getting knocked out by his bitter rival, uh, Jorge Masvidal. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't really follow this stuff. Um, and, right, and then they're right. Uh, however, more level-headed XRP holders saw Askren's mention as an opportunity for more mainstream exposure. Even those who weren't following XRP could come to their own conclusion. And so I did go ahead and pull up the actual Twitter thread here where he said, and it's on the screen now, I think XRP is a scam. Uh, opinions without having the underlying knowledge to make it reasonable to have such opinions. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> there we go. All the way away wrote to him. He responded, I think you've been punched in the face too many times to know. Uh, let me find a couple other ones. Here's one from Galgatron. <laughs> Galgatron wrote to, to, to Ben here. And he, he said, uh, I can only imagine the number of people coming to you for advice on crypto technology. <laughs> Probably zero. Oh, Lord. Let's see if there's other good ones down here. I've read a few of these before recording here. Um, here you go. From uh, Crypto Dread wrote this. Keep hating and exposing your fan base to XRP. We'll take another 300,000 followers, even if only 10% look and do their own research into Ripple. They'll, they'll uh, use their own brains. Get involved yourself and do the right thing. XRP the standard. And uh, that's because this guy, I think he does have a little over 300,000. So, yeah, there you go. 304,200 followers on Twitter. So that's it's a notable following right there. And uh, I think that last point that Crypto Dread made, makes it, to me it resonates because... It just me entering the world of crypto in late 2017 being a blank slate, I didn't think it's something that I'd ever get really involved in any sort of meaningful capacity. I had no idea what I was about to stumble into. But once I joined and uh, up and, uh, you know, I, I was looking through XRP chat and uh, I was reading all sorts of stuff on Twitter and reading articles, doing my own research, uh, just going down the list of coins listed on CoinMarketCap, you know, going through that, um, you know, I just, again, it's not, it's not what I expected to find. And I, like I said, I didn't think that I, I'd get involved, but, um, once I found that there was something to it, I mean, well, look, here I am over two years later. And so that's why what he's saying there resonated with me. I mean, I'm one of those types of people that happened upon it and then was like, holy crap. And now it's just, uh, it's quite literally changed what I'm doing with uh, my life to a certain degree. Like I'm spending for fun. It's, it's a hobby, but it's like for fun hours per day researching this stuff and then putting content out on all the YouTubes here. And so I, th the point, I think the point that he's making is pretty valid, which is there are going to be a lot of other people that look into this stuff. And, uh, you know, even if it's just a small percentage, but you're always going to find more and more people that enter the, the XRP community in the world of crypto. Like, oh, my God, there's actually something to this. Not exactly what I expected. Uh, that won't stop because there legitimately is something to this. And, you know, and then in this other, this You Today piece, they, they go on and they're talking about uh, the question of Ripple being a scam. And then here they have the subheading, Ripple's Questionable Business. 
XRP is rightfully considered to be one of the most controversial projects in the crypto space. Yeah, only because Bitcoin maxis make it that way. Uh, Forbes contributor Jason Bloomberg slammed it as centralized permissionless. Uh, they mean permissioned, though, in the article that they're citing here, Jason Bloomberg. He cited it as centralized and permissioned, but you today being a crypto media outlet, they wrote it wrong and didn't catch it because they didn't read their own work. Good job. Gold star for you, crypto media. So anyway, Jason Bloomberg slammed it as centralized permissioned token in his op-ed article while calling into question Ripple's business model. Now, I'm not going to run through this, but I will cite this since it was covered in this article. This is from March 1st of 2019. I covered this when it came out last year, and it's, again, from Forbes. Is Ripple a scam? And the answer is no. I, I will say this, though. There was word that this guy had ultimately had a track record for being paid to put out uh, you know, uh, opinion pieces and so apparently he can be bought. So I don't even know that he necessarily believes what he wrote here. Um, that's what I had read anyway. And so just take it for what it's worth. But uh, I don't think it's worth it for the sake of this video, breaking down this long thing. I, I talked about this when it came out in March of last year. And I, 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 this guy, he's been a ghost ever since as far as crypto. So there we are. But uh, yeah, fun stuff right there, right? So... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll wrap up the video by sharing this. <laughs> this is a tweet from uh, from from David Schwartz. He was asked by Kenny SDR Rogers, "Who's your team of choice in the NFL, David?" David Schwartz, co-creator of the XRP Ledger and uh, CTO at Ripple, he stated, "49ers fan." And of course, uh, you know, there it, it's of course them you know, being in San Francisco makes a lot of sense. That's where uh, Ripple's uh, headquartered, obviously, and they're just technically a little bit south. The 49ers technically are headquartered a little bit southeast of San Francisco. But anyway, so he writes, 49ers fan, I compared all teams objectively and reasonably determined that the team geographically closest to me happened to be the best and most deserving of my support, just like everyone else did. <laughs> because isn't that exactly how it works? <laughs> uh, no, it just... It just it's just it has exclusively uh, everything to do with with where you live but uh, anyway that's it for this video thank you very much for stopping by i am not a financial advisor do not buy or sell anything because of anything that i say or write that would be a very 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 bad idea until next time to the moon lambo